In this video, I'm going to show what histogram is and how to plot it in PSPICE. Histogram is nothing but graphical representation showing a visual impression of a distribution. It's an estimate of the probability of continuous variables. When we perform Monte Carlo analysis, we actually evaluate in circuit when selected components in our circuit are varied randomly within bounds of their tolerance. During Monte Carlo analysis, PSPICE performs several runs at a DC, AC, or transit analysis, which makes it difficult to understand the data after several runs. So, in other words, histogram allows us to interpret and analyze the data derived from Monte Carlo analysis better. Now, suppose we are designing a tank circuit for a radio station, and we wanted to have the maximum impedance of the circuit to be at 72 dB. We have come up with a decision to set the value of resistor to 25 ohms with a tolerance of 25%. In order to make sure that what we have chosen for the value of resistor is accurate, histogram would be a great help. Once we are done with the schematics, under PSPICE Edit Simulation Profile, we set the settings to what we normally set for the Monte Carlo analysis. In this case, I define the output variable as IV source, and just because I wanted to show how difficult would it be to understand the data from Monte Carlo analysis itself, I set the number of runs to 1000, and I used Gaussian distribution for better understanding of the histogram. And I also asked the PSPICE to find the minimum value of the output, which is the IV source here. We hit OK and run the simulation. Since we have asked the PSPICE to do the 1000 run, it takes a bit of a time to simulate. After it's done with the simulation, a new window will pop up and it shows the result of this 1000 runs. We click OK. And now we can trace what we were after, which in this case is our impedance of the circuit. So we say dB V source over IV source and click OK. And it gives us the family of curves related to these random variations resistor. So let me zoom in a little bit so that you can see that how difficult would it be to pick one curve out of these hundred curves here. So this is the time actually that histogram can help us. We have performance analysis tab over uh, on the simulations tool, toolbar menu, we hit that and the new pliable pops up, which, ha which is the histogram. We can trace the same exact thing, but this time I will choose to trace the maximum impedance of a circuit. We hit OK. So let me delete this plot so that you can see better the histogram. So as you can tell, this is histogram shown as an adjusted rectangle is erected over discrete interval. The x-axis takes on the goal function, which in this case is maximum impedance, and y-axis takes on the units of person. By using histogram, we will determine the percentage probability that the tank circuit will lie in various slots due to random variation of the resistor. Our nominal value is 72 dB. As you can see, it shows that approximately 26% of the runs lies on 72%, which has greater probability than any among the other values. 
There's also other information can all be derived from this histogram and that all these information can be seen here down at the bottom of the page. We have n samples which is the number of Monte Carlo runs that P spark executed and then we have 10 divisions which is the number of divisions that the x-axis is divided into to create the histogram. Then we have mean which is the arithmetic average of all goal function values and sigma which is the standard deviation. We have the minimum value and 10th percentile. 10th percentile is a number representing goal function values such that 10th percent of the goal function values are less than or equal to this number which means that 69.75 90% of our values are greater than 69.75 and also the same thing is like for 90th percentile which says that 10% of our values are greater than 75.34 then we have the median which is the same as 10 percentile except for 50 50% we have maximum value and 3 times sigma.